Hello and welcome to an automation tutorial video. Yeah, sort of breaking up the competition with this, where today I'm going to be going over how to turbo tune in automation, at least right now. Currently turbos are a bit odd since they're all based on 80s tech and there's really like an ideal way to tune them which doesn't really reflect real life. So, I mean, let's just build an engine. First thing you want to do with an engine when you're turbocharging it or planning to turbocharge it, you should probably go for inline engines or mainly inline sixes uh, because you have more cylinders feeding into one turbo. Twin turbos are almost unusable just because of how laggy they are. Um, so, yeah, you're sort of really, an inline six is ideal for this, inline five's all right too. V6s are probably the worst ones to turbocharge, I think even worse than inline threes, since, uh, well, inline threes, you're probably not using it to make that much power, whereas uh, you may want to get some power out of a V6, which will be very laggy. So, yeah, stay away from those. We'll just go with... Uh, all cast internals, may as well. Uh, compression ratio will set to about uh, 8.5. And we'll go with a reasonably sporty um, cam profile and just set up something standard. Put on a turbocharger. Uh, we'll leave the settings for now. And uh, just continue on making the engine. Yeah, it'll be something sporty, so we'll run it on like a super. And go with something reasonably sporty here. Um, I've left it on 86 by 86, so uh, yeah, I think this is actually we can probably go with something like that. Uh, and we need some forged internals. Perfect. Um, so as you can see right now, this uh, this engine is incredibly laggy. The turbos spool up at 3,900, uh, 4,000 RPM, uh, and then you just lose torque from there. So first thing you want to do, never use journal bearings. Always use ball bearings if you can. You can see there already adds 300 RPM and they're not that much more expensive. As you can see there's only $50 between them and the only sort of mild disadvantage they have is a tiny bit of extra octane but the benefit is so huge. I think you even get more power. Okay, not in this case but I think that's because our compressor is a bit big. Next of all, intercoolers. You never want to uh, have the intercooler be restricting power. That's uh, never a good sign. Let's just open up this exhaust a bit and uh, rev it a bit higher. Uh, we're getting some slight issues. We'll rev it to 7.8. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, intercoolers should never be restricting power. You, It's just wasted potential if it is, so always open it up there's if you have to lower compression ratio do it because you'll get more power and better well you'll just get more power at a lower cost by doing it it's uh i don't think there's ever a reason really at least next for the actual turbocharger the uh, do this minimum turbine maximum ar turbines can be restricted while well, you can open that back up uh, usually I find that having the turbine at about uh, 0.82 or that kind of range works the best. Then lower compressor, you can get a bit more power but you get the uh, the turbine spool, or you get the turbo spooling a lot quicker. So using this method of maximum AR and a minimum turbine and, slower, and a smaller compressor, you can get the turbos to spool up fairly quickly and then whatever's left put into uh, increasing the max boost I guess uh, although we don't want it to knock so yeah that's basically it you can then obviously fine-tune obviously sportier cars if you're really pushing for power you can afford to uh, have a bit of lag but um, obviously you want to try and minimize lag make it as drivable as possible but that's for sportier cars. Obviously, if it's a uh, much more sort of eco-minded car, if we go to like an inline four or something, a little two liter, well, little, it's still fairly big. Uh, obviously, smaller engines, you run a lot less boost so that you can have a leaner fuel mixture and uh, more compression. 
um, which helps efficiency a lot more. So minimum boost really, only a little bit, use it to aid power, then obviously uh, there's no reason really to have big turbos, it, making them smaller helps improve efficiency a lot. You can even then begin to bring down AR because that helps efficiency quite a lot. But uh, that's sort of the basics for getting a uh, turbo setup together. Obviously if we put it to uh, sort of a minimum lag setup like this, you can see the difference between a uh, inline 4 and then like a V6, which actually to be fair with this setup means it doesn't lag too much but you can see the difference there between the uh, the way they spool up there's yeah almost a thousand rpm difference which uh, you know when it comes to drivability every bit helps in uh, trying to spool up the, the uh, turbos as quickly as possible anyway I hope this has been informative uh, I'm happy to take requests for uh, other tutorials or bits of information um, you would like and um, yeah thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed and until next video goodbye